Yes, so now as we have calculated the mean for two time steps, two years in the beginning and the end of our yeah, analysis time frame, um, we added them to the map and try to understand a bit more what's happening. But um, we can make use of another very, very simple preliminary analysis tool we can map the difference of these two means. And we do that by um, calculating um, yeah, the difference or subtract one data set from the other. And that's what I did here. I created the variable or defined the variable difference as in the mean of 2010 and 11, subtracted the mean 21 and 22. And then what I did is I add this layer to the map as well, losing, using a different uh, visualization because now we have totally different values, obviously. And um, I will switch off the two mean layers to just focus on layer four. And what you see here is and that's now similar to the preliminary study I have showed you in the beginning, where um, focus was put on mapping greening hotspots or hotspots of greening. And here we can see two different patterns. So we have here in dark red an obvious decrease of NDVI, but at the same time we also have an increase of NDVI in other points or other areas, which we have a look at here. And to understand this further, we would make use of these points, which we created in the very beginning, and now plot the whole time series um, of these irrigation schemes to understand them a bit further. And I have to remove the here. So we can now run the whole simple script. And what I did here is I used the chart function provided by Google Earth Engine. And with this, we can define uh, what we plot in a line plot and provide a title as well. Here, NDVI time series increase for the point increase and NDVI time series decrease for the point decrease. And now what you see here are um, NDVI values and the change over the course of yeah, uh, 17, 18 years. And what is striking here is that we can see the crops. Yeah, they grow then they are harvested or they fall dry and we have this regular pattern. What is interesting now is if we have a look at the time series decrease. You would think that actually the peaks of these yearly NDVI values or curves are almost the same. But when you look a bit further, what happened here around 2002. So that's roughly a year later than um, the so-called fast track land reform program in Zimbabwe, where the white um, commercial farmers, which I have mentioned before, which controlled the majority of the land, were yeah, forcefully evicted or stopped in their production. We see that before a certain change, we have actually two peaks per year, meaning that we had two cropping seasons. And then what happened here is that these fall short and we only have one season with the exception of this year left. So this means something here has happened. Now it's important to understand that that doesn't necessarily mean ownership change. It could be that a different crop is grown, that um, 
yeah, a different manager is working on the land and the ownership is different. Remember, we talked about this in, this, in the lecture. But um, by using these time series, we, we can detect these changes and then investigate further what happened. And yeah, when you have a look at the whole country, you could see certain green ups and a lot of decreases of production. And that matches actually with the national statistics of uh, grain production um, that yeah, agriculture production in general decreased in Zimbabwe. You can see all these little red dots and most of them are irrigation schemes which are not as productive as they have been uh, around 2000 or 2002. So by knowing that we have these differences in peaks, we could now investigate these time series further by using the so-called breakpoints um, where we use algorithms to detect um, breakpoints in the yeah, regular occurrence of a time series. And by using this BFAST algorithm, for instance, we could map also the time of change. And then the pixel value, which would be shown here, wouldn't represent an NDVI value, but a, a time a stamp where a change, an obvious change in these time series occurred for this pixel. And that's exactly what we have done for the uh, mapping of new irrigation schemes across Sub-Saharan Africa. But I think we can leave it here for now and um, understand that by the temporal monitoring of NDVI and agricultural production, we can spot certain irregularities and try to link them to ownership change.